video number two about creativity being a form of prayer. If you draw or paint a beautiful picture um, or a sculpture or something that so many others will find beauty in, it means something different to each person. It might connect them to something outside of themselves. Okay, prayer. So I have a friend, a Muslim friend in Algeria, and we discuss things frequently, openly for the purpose of learning and gaining awareness. Um, but see, that type of conditioning will oftentimes um, come from the standpoint that, oh, uh, you have faults because you don't follow my God, my idea of God, because that's what was programmed in my culture. So what he thought was, oh no, art and music, that's the devil that stands between you and Allah. <laughs> okay, really. So in my response was, um, this is my understanding, the true God, because remember the Elohim, remember there are many creative beings or gods, that there's a high God, Father, Mother, God. However, um, I don't believe, think, feel, or know that the true God, the high God, um, would need to keep people in fear to control them. I don't think so. Um, so if you study scripture, maybe New Testament, how Christ talks about the ruler of your planet has no control over me, how um, he was telling the Jews that their father is a murderer and liar, whatever. Okay, so this is for people who are open to the possibility and or actuality that there are beings that aren't of the light. Some people say everything is of the whole and darkness is just farther from the light and there needs to be balance. There's opposing forces. Okay, but if the beings are more along the line of darkness, um, what if those beings feed off of your fear, your guilt, your shame, any negative emotions, sadness, Oh, and then they program you, they feed you um, these rules, okay, and these religions that are designed to keep you there. So you feel like an unworthy sinner, right? So you feel stuck, like, oh, you know, I'm just not good. That's the lie, and that's the illusion. That's where they want you to be. So with my friend with his statement of art and music being the devil, welcome to hell. Welcome to hell, my friend, where you exist because of programming, conditioning, falsehoods, lies, brainwashing. Does your God need to keep you in fear for any reason? That's a reason of light or for the greater good of humanity. And why do Muslims and Islam seem to be afraid of the Divine Feminine, which is the other half of their creator, who, by the way, Muhammad, their prophet, said needs to be revered and honored the same as the God. Oh, but man removed that from the scripture. Right. So, um, for people who take exception to the fact that I say that being creative to express your creativity is a form of prayer. Um, if they don't get that, there should be two words on this video. Wake up. Wake up. For awareness, people. Videos for awareness. Yay. Peace out.